kill the star. So then God formed man out of the dust of the earth. See, he had spoke the word, and then the word had to take place. Now he said, let there be light. Maybe it might have been hundreds of years, maybe 800 years before there ever was a light. But it come to pass because God said so. And God's going to have a church. I don't care how many dark ages we go through and whatever more. He's going to have a church without spot or wrinkle whether we're part of it or not, because he's already said it was going to happen. It's going to be there. And, and he uh, commanded to, to transform it, it, it. A minister of the word failed to believe the angel. Notice, then the angel said, when God has spoke anything, he will perform it. Amen. You believe that? He's going to have a church. I don't know who's in it, but he's going to have a church without spot or wrinkle. If somebody, I don't know who it is, but it will be there. You say, where will he get it? I don't know. But it's going to be there for God has said so, and God can't lie. Notice. Defied you and ordained you a prophet to the nations. What did Jeremiah have to do with that? Nothing. God did it. So it's God's sovereign grace that he does things. God has a church that's going to appear without spot or wrinkle. He's already said that. That church is foreordained. I trust tonight that we're every one members of that church. And here's the way I think you become a member. By one spirit, we're all baptized into one body, and we're members of that church. I believe that with all my heart. Now, Jesus said, here's his words. And so you're always pointing how wicked the worlds are getting, but you fail to see how powerful the churches are getting. At the same time, she's rising up, standing on her feet. Oh, she's a little flock, but her brother God's with her, and she's going to triumph this is turning as Christ rose from the dead. Amen. God's church shall never fail. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it, shall they be against it, but they cannot prevail. The church is going to triumph through the blood of Jesus Christ, to the victory march. I'm positive of this one thing, that God will have a church without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. Amen. I'm so happy about that. And Lord, Terry, ten years, we'll have the entire Lutheran church filled with the Holy Ghost. Hey. Oh, my. Sure. God is able of these stones. He's going to have a church presented without spot or wrinkle or a blemish. His grace is all sufficient, and he can do it exceeding abundantly. And after a while, become molecules and atoms, and it come up because he set it to be that way. And here's a promise, too, that we can think. If he, the one that said that, has brought every word to pass, then he's going to have a church to appear before him without spot or wrinkle. Yes, amen. And it's going to behoove us, brother, sister, to really be sure that we are right with God. And then because there's going to be a church, and we want to be part of that church, no matter what this is here on earth, we are looking for a city whose builder and maker is God. He's not coming off of that bed. Oh, my. God will work his way despite anything anybody else can do about it. God's going to do it. He's going to do it in his own way. We ain't going to stop it at all. We're not going to even hinder it. That's all. He's going to do it anyhow. He's going to have a church. I don't care who says he won't. And how many uh, unbelievers rise up, God's going to have a church without a spot or wrinkle. He's going to be there. Done said he was. I uh, just strive to be part of it. That's all. He might send preachers across the country preaching. Everybody might turn them down, throw them in jail, kick them out of town. He'll have the church just the same. As old John said, God's able of these stones to rise children of Abraham. God's still God. He can do. He took the little Paul where the the church in their decision had made an error and choose Matthias and that. Paul, a little old hook-nosed, high-tempered Jew, he said, I'm going to show you why.